Hey guys, Indie Outdoor Discovery is out here. Brought my dog Maddox out here to do a little fishing. Caught our first bowfin of the day on the Ned Rig Senko. Nice fish, probably about a, probably 25, 25, 30 inches, somewhere in that range. Nonetheless, it's a nice fish. Let's go ahead and get a few shots, talk about it a little bit. All right guys, welcome to Bowfin Catch and Cook. We got our fish. Now we gotta wash it off a little bit and we're gonna take it back home. Whoa! We're gonna take it back home and uh, we're gonna go ahead and fillet this thing. And we're gonna go ahead and fillet it and then we're gonna cook it. Stay tuned. Got a little bow fin. Second one of the day. I already got the first one for the catch and cook over here. This one's smaller. Little bow fin. Man, he's a fighter, dude. These bow fins are always hard fighters. Little one. They got all kinds of names for these things, too. Some people call them grinnels. Some people just call them bow fins, like me. Some, some people call them mudfish, dogfish. Anything you can think of, man. Man, look at this dude. He's still not worn out. Oh, there it is. Nice one. Little bowfin. See if he'll calm down a little bit for us here. Man, he bent my hook a little bit too. See if I can get my hand behind his gill here and hold him up. Look at that, guys. Nice little bow fin. Not bad. Let's go hold him up next to the other one. See ya. Whoa! Oh, he cut, he cut me off. Dang it. Oh, calm down, dude. All right. The hook came out. Uh, look at this, guys. Here he is next to it. Whoa! Oh, God. Now we got them both flopping. Calm down, guys. So, look. Now we got two bow fins. I'm going to let this one go. Let him grow up. He's smaller than the other one. Still two nice fish though, awesome. done with the filet check out all those eggs you know around here we don't let anything go to waste so I'm gonna put in this bag and put it in the freezer and this guy will be catfish bait later on this summer all right guys we got the bowfin meat in the fish fry we're gonna go ahead and get a season and stuff and then we're gonna cook it we got the rest of the meat in here looks pretty good honestly I soaked it in water and vinegar for a couple hours while I was gone and now I'm back the meat's all firm and we're gonna go ahead and cook it and then we're gonna do the taste test okay guys there it is it's cooking right now we're gonna fry them up let this stuff cook we still got a lot more pieces and after it's all done we'll do the taste test guys corn on the cob goes great with any meal especially fish all right guys here's the finished both in it's all cooked, everything looks good. Now there's only one thing left to do. You gotta answer the question, is it good or not? All right guys, time for the first bite. Let's see if it's good. Not bad. All right, now that we've eaten a couple pieces of this, the overall is, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good, guys. Didn't taste bad at all. Didn't really have a strong fishy taste. It tasted just like... No bones? Yeah, no bones. Tasted just like any other fish. Hey, guys, I just finished editing the video that you just finished watching, the bowfin catch and cook. 
It was an awesome experience, guys. I cannot wait to try it again. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. It helps me out a ton. And I'll catch you guys with some new videos soon. Stay tuned.